I'm Pete Kutzer with the Orvis Fly Fishing Schools. Today I'm going to talk about shooting line. When we're casting, uh, sometimes those fish aren't just uh, 10, 20, 30 feet away. Sometimes they're a little bit further, and we have to make a longer cast to get out to those fish. When we want to make this longer cast, we have to shoot line. There's a couple different ways we can shoot line, uh, but basically what we're doing essentially is we're letting go of that line after we come to that good stop, or right after we come to that good stop. So when I teach people in the schools how to shoot line, I like to give them either a visual indicator or have them feel something, like a tactile indicator. Okay? That visual indicator, what I'm looking for, or what I want the students to look for, is that loop, that loop rolling out. As soon as they see that loop beyond the rod tip, that's when they can let go of this line. So they're making a cast. They're holding onto the line right here in their line hand. They're making this cast. As soon as they stop that rod, that's when that loop forms. We've got to make a stop behind us, a stop out in front, then we get that nice loop. As soon as we see that loop, we can then let that line slide through our hands. And we want to try to feather that line through your hands. If you let it go like this, yeah, it might shoot a little bit further, but then we have to grab that line, put it underneath our finger. We might have to make a strip or two to get that line straight so we can set that hook. So try to just feather the line through your hands when you're making that cast. See that loop, then let it slide, rod tip back down low, then we can strip that line back in. Now, for somebody who wants to feel something, or if they're more of a tactile learner, what I'm going to tell them is feel that rod come to that good stop. All right, when we're casting, remember, we got to make this rod move, then we got to make it stop. Make that rod move, then stop. When that rod stops, that's when we get that loop to roll out. So we want to get that good stop, then let that line slide. Feel that rod stop. So you can look uh, in a different direction, pardon my back, but I can look over here, just get that rod to stop, then let that line slide. By doing this, this is going to help you get a little bit more distance and get those fish uh, that are a little bit further away. And that's shooting line.